So this morning at 4 a.m. we woke up and we biked across from our little town in the Netherlands all the way across the border in Germany. First time for that, biking across the border. And in Germany we got these free, well we had these free Deutsche Bahn tickets for the train. So um, we left from the nearest uh, station just across the border. And now we're taking the train just right across to Dresden. Ah, uh, Christmas in Germany. What a truly magical time. The four weeks leading up to the 25th are filled with, well, let me pronounce this, Weihnachtsmarkt. <laughs> Which just means Christmas markets in German. Clove wine and the feeling of coziness amongst the brisk air. Just got transfer trains from Leipzig, which where we're at right now, to Dresden, where we're going in Germany. But I just want to show you guys the beautiful Leipzig. I guess this is the central station. It's just so amazing, especially around the Christmas time, where everything is all decked out. Okay, this whole station is actually decked out. Look. We're gonna go down there and check it out. It's Christmas time in Germany. So we're actually, our train is getting delayed by an extra hour. So we might as well head out into the city of Leipzig and check it out. Leipzig has the appropriate nickname of the New Berlin a playground for nomadic young creatives who have been displaced by the fast gentrifying German capital but even from strolling around we can see and feel as a city with enormous history <laughs> so in Asia you have all these temples but in Europe all of these churches Leipzig Christmas market. <laughs> so Dresden is supposed to be our first ever, well, my first ever Germany, German Christmas market. But I guess, Le I guess Leipzig will be. Yeah, uh, every, if we enter it, uh, would be our first. Okay, let's go. Just tools with chocolate. These Christmas dolls are so cute, especially how everyone matches and how they decorate them as well. That was our freewheeling little layover in Leipzig. And now we're gonna go to our main attraction in Dresden. But back again in this beautiful ooh, train station. Ooh. Especially at Christmas time. Look at this. So pretty. This train is super nice. Train. Don't tell the Dutch that. <laughs> Look at this. We've arrived in Dresden. Look how beautiful this train station is as well. This huge Christmas tree.
our hotel is literally smack center of the city center which is so great and it overlooks a second Christmas market that we just saw that I'll show you later on. Oh here we go. Christmas everybody! Chocolate. Ooh, well, that's what I call a nice welcome. See this view. Hello, peasants. Over there, you can see the Christmas market. Uh, right there. Right there. That's the second one. Queen size bed, which is really nice. <laughs> and this is our nice. What's in here? Oh, that's just the toilet. What's in here? Oh, that's the nice shower. I like the marble. My dad would like this too. And someone's already helping themselves to the chocolate. Oh, no, mm. Am I filming him? I'm not. Maybe the camera is already off. Hey. 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 So we're checking out this whole sauna and spa section at the hotel. Hey. Yeah. It's like a whole chill out. Take a nap if you want to. Have sex if you want to. Cave. It's like a sex cave down here. Guys, super cool. Look at this place. So we have to wear these funny, funny slippers because we can't go with our shoes here. And this is the finished sauna. So we're definitely gonna check this out. How do I open this? <laughs> oh, it's really hot. Just touching it. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so big. This is where you can get your spa treatments. I think all of these are booked up as well because you can see the signs on the door. Like a spaceship. Where did you get that? What? No. Maybe later. This is the fitness room. The hotel. Oh, there you go. That's where you get the No asana lounges. Hello. Hello. Dining table set up where you can just chill and eat. This lounge is so nice. Then decor. The first Christmas market in Chaston, and it smells so good. Look at all this. Here we got bread for it. All only for four euros. This here is Germany's oldest Christmas market with a very long history dating back to 1434. Whew. So cute. Each stall here is decorated in its own way. Hello! <laughs> 
literally a Christmas wonderland. The attack of the five senses, you know, like smells so good here. And you can hear music in the background, of course the sight with all the lights itself. It's just so much to try out. I'm just, it's just crazy here. The Dresden Streisel Mart is located on the Altmark Square in the historical city center. There's romance and festive charm in the air as the market is an inspiration in itself. A real treasure trove for real traditional handmade crafts. There's a little bit of something for everyone here. Each balcony is decorated with lights as well. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. The city is huge. Look at this. Look at this cool. We're gonna go here tomorrow morning and during the day. Oh, oh and all over there too. So this is the I think this is the fourth, yeah, the fourth Christmas market in the city of Jason alone. This one is called Augustus Market. Look how cute. It's in this really nice square just across the bridge that we were just walked on. And all the tents here are white. Our final food try of the night is not even German food. But we can't help ourselves because of the great smell that's coming from this Indian food. From this nice Indian stall. So for 5 euros we got chicken tikka on rice. <laughs> Actually sunny with blue skies. A little bit of blue skies today. Which is really nice. Oh, okay, not on that side. Don't look at that side. <laughs> She's on this side. <laughs> look, okay. This side. That side. This side. There we're heading to that side. The Zwinger Palace is famous around the world for its beautiful Baroque architecture. It was built in 1709 during the reign of Augustus the Strong. It served as the Orangery, Exhibition Gallery, and a festival arena of the Dresden Court. This is the Swinger Palace, and this is the Palace Grounds. A little bit on Dresden, the city is located to the east of Germany along the banks of the river Elbe. In spite of vast destruction during the Second World War, the city has now been restored to its former glory as it was under the rule of Augustus the Strong in the 18th century. When walking around, you certainly feel and see that. Just let you leave with your feet on the floor. He's a model. I'm Logan Lee. Hi. I don't talk to other people. But it's just paparazzi. <laughs> I found my home. Ontario, Canada, restaurant, cafe, steakhouse. Of course there would be a steakhouse. Canada and Germany. What'd you know?
And this concludes our Dresden adventure. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, give this video a like, and leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching my Logies, and I hope you have a wonderful, utmost cozy holiday wherever you are in the world.